Hey, Lisette here for Email Tool Tester. Today we'll walk through how to quickly send your own newsletter for free and the key steps you need to take before hitting send to avoid any of the mistakes we often see. You know, like those pesky lorem ipsums and bracketed first names or content that just doesn't load on mobile. To get it right, you can choose from many providers. You've probably heard of MailChimp, Substack, and others. But we've chosen to show you the process with two other great tools. MailerLite, perfect for beginners and small businesses with an awesome free plan, and Beehive, ideal for creators looking to grow and monetize their audience, which also lets you get started for free. That being said, most newsletter services work in a similar way. Some are simpler, others more advanced, but once you get the hang of it, you're all set with whichever tool you end up choosing. Okay, first up is MailerLite. It earns its spot as one of our favorite tools for its ease of use, its generous free plan, and excellent features for small businesses. This is the dashboard. Once you're in, the first thing you need to do is upload your list, which is done under Subscribers. Next, click Add Subscribers. You'll see a few options here, like copy pasting emails from Excel or importing a file. We're gonna import a file. This is basically an Excel file with a simple list of emails. Go to Upload File, then once that's done, click Import Subscribers. On the next screen, you can choose to add them to an existing group or create a new group, which you might call Newsletter List, for example. Then you'll have the option to match the columns to specific field names or skip any columns if you want that data ignored. MailerLite also asks whether you want to update subscriber fields with empty data. This is more important if you're re-uploading a list of subscribers you've already had. Since right now we're adding new subscribers, it doesn't make a difference, so we'll go with no here. Once ready, just hit the Finish Import button. When the import is complete, you'll get a notification showing you how many subscribers were added and if any failed. Now that we've set up our list, let's create the actual newsletter. This is done under Campaigns. Simply click the Create New Campaign button. Next, enter some basic information, campaign name, subject line, sender name, email address, pre-header content, and your recipient list. Let's go ahead and add those details and select our new list. On the content screen, you'll decide how to build your email. If you're on a paid plan, MailerLite offers a selection of templates, and using one is probably the fastest way to get your newsletter out. It's really straightforward. Just start typing and click the plus sign to add elements like headings, text, images, or buttons. As the name suggests, you can then drag and drop these sections to organize them however you like. Editing text, adjusting fonts, and changing colors is super easy too. And if something doesn't look quite right, no worries, there's a handy undo button. Plus, you can review your design history to revert to an earlier version. Once you have finished editing, simply click Done Editing. Then comes the final check. You can review everything, preview how the email will look on both desktop and mobile, and even send yourself a test email, which we highly recommend. Then, if everything looks good, you can either send out your email right away or schedule it away for later. Simply hit send and you're all set. It's that easy. Now let's jump into Beehive. Beehive isn't just another email tool. It's a whole ecosystem for bloggers and creators that is packed with powerful email features. It also has a generous free plan and is super beginner friendly. The process of creating a newsletter here is a little different, but includes all of the same basic steps. Okay, this is the Beehive dashboard. Getting started is a breeze. Just log in and click here to upload your list. Like with MailerLite, you also have two options here. We're gonna upload a file again. You can also send these new subscribers a previously set up welcome email, add them to automations, or apply tags. If you're just getting started and this seems a bit confusing, don't worry. This is not really something you need to do right away. You can always come back and do it later. All right, let's import this list. Now, going back to the dashboard, let's click on Start Writing to set up your first newsletter. You'll notice the editor doesn't look like your typical email editor. That's because Beehive's posts are designed to be shared via both web and email at the same time. You still get a good amount of control over the look and feel, though. For example, you can click on the Newsletter Builder icon to set up your default styles, like fonts and colors, so that your emails have a consistent look moving forward. We really like that Beehive's editor is made up of building blocks and comes with a few nice options like a code block and table of contents. Let's add some text and images to keep it simple. You can also make quick adjustments like changing button colors. It's, it's all very functional. Once you're done editing, click Preview to review everything. If it all looks good, hit Next. Now it's time to choose your audience. With Beehive, subscribers can pay to receive your content. So you can decide whether you want to send your newsletter to free subscribers, paid subscribers, or everyone. 
There are also advanced segmentation options available on paid plans, but we'll keep it simple for now. Let's select our free list and click Next again. Beehive also publishes your newsletters on a web page, so before sending, you can adjust a few details like the post URL and thumbnail. Okay, now it's time to send or schedule, and that's it, your newsletter is live. There you have it. Creating and sending newsletters can be a painless and even free process if you're using the right tools. Of course, depending on your needs, upgrading to a paid plan might be necessary after a while, but if you're just getting started, you probably won't need to worry about this right away. As a reminder, we've reviewed a ton of email marketing services in depth, so be sure to check out our website and channel for more details. We'll also link our handy email marketing service comparison template below to help you decide what's best for you. And if you'd like to see more features within the tools we've shown you today, such as reports and automation, check out our full reviews on the Email Tool Tester website. As always, if you have any questions or comments, let us know below. Until next time, guys.